All right, Mounts BBG Chapter 17, Sentence 1. Uh, if you're looking at this sentence, you probably notice a couple things right off. You have a negation for the first word in the sentence. Then you have some form of a kuo. So you're looking at your verb here. So even if you can't parse that quite yet, uh, you know there's your verb and it's negated. Uh, here you got pretty clearly the subject because you have a feminine nominative plural. Uh, you probably recognize phone as like voice or something like that. So you have the voices. And then you have a genitive plural. Hopefully you recognize by now. Uh, omega nu in every instance is always going to be uh, genitive plural. So, um, you know, you can take that as possessive and just say something like their voices. Uh, otherwise, you're going to talk about the voices of them. So, you know, probably better in this instance, just say their voices. But what about their voices, since that's the subject? Their voices are not, well, let's stop there for a second, because we just have negation. And we go to Akuo, and then we see this ending. And hopefully uh, you learn that paradigm as uh, uh, my side tie metha es the um tie. Uh, which tells you that this is the third person plural, uh, which would also line up with this plural, so you've got subject verb agreement, uh, except for the fact that this is passive instead of active. So instead of saying their voices don't hear, it's going to be their voices are not heard, because it's a present. You know, you still have a present, but again, with this ending, it's a passive ending. So you have to translate it passively and say their voices are not heard. Okay? So, um, easy enough.